It's called Connect Entertainment. It derives from Kang Daniel's wish to connect Korea with the rest of the world. Pretty cool, right? <coughs> world domination. Yo, what is going on everybody? Aluma come back at ya. Back for another one. And today guys, I found out big news. Kang Daniel has announced that he has set up a one-man agency to pursue his entertainment activities. That is big news. It's blowing up the entertainment world because Kang Daniel was one of the hottest, if not the hottest, uh, musicians slash celebrity figures uh, to come around in a while. How do I know he's so big? Because I didn't watch the produce series. Uh, I don't, and, or I didn't follow, you know, idol news very much, if at all. But I still knew him. I still heard of him. So he's a pretty big deal. He's a pretty big deal. Now, uh, to rewind a little bit, um, I know that he had a court case, which to me, as you guys might know, is very interesting. He had a contract with LM Entertainment. That was his original agency. However, um, basically they partook in actions that either uh, nullified or, you know, basically voided or just broke the contract itself. Okay. Uh, the court has ruled that, you know, it, um, it no longer exists. So when that happened, he was pretty much free to choose the path that he wanted as an entertainment figure. And he chose to pursue his activities with his own agency. Now, you know, that's one extreme. The other extreme he could have done was stick with a huge agency or a very powerful agency or a well-known and renowned, well-established agency. Now, I think that's where the very cool and interesting part plays. Um, he stated that he chose to go with the one-man agency because long-term he thinks that it's going to be, you know, the agency will follow a vision that more closely aligns with obviously his goals and paths and his fans. And I think that makes sense. You know, um, if he was unknown, he would need, if he was unknown and uh, not as popular, he would need the power and the resources of a very big, powerful agency. However, like I said before, um, from what I understand, he was the hottest celeb to come out of the entertainment industry in a while. And so, uh, with that kind of firepower, with that kind of uh, buzz, he can really do what he wants. And the best way he can do what he wants is to set up a one-man agency. I believe he also said he chose that path because he thinks he can uh, come back to his fans faster than if he was with uh, you know, some, or, some, some or other sort of entertainment company. That makes sense too. Um, because he has what other uh, idols don't or other musicians don't, and that is big clout, big following, big potential, uh, a lot of buzz. Uh, really, uh, I think that was the best choice he could have made for himself as well as his fans. I will say though, guys, um, in the Korean entertainment industry, there have been plenty of times when a very popular celebrity is with a big entertainment company. And once their contract ends, and sometimes before it really ends, they leave. But after they leave, it doesn't go so well. It doesn't go so well. Um, and you know, that really showed me that uh, a lot of times, you know, as much as they get criticism, the big agencies really do a lot for these celebrities. Because if you're in a big agency, they basically do everything for you. They do everything for you. Whereas if you're in a one-man agency, I'm sure you have someone in the back supporting you, but it's still very much kind of, uh, you know, a lot more strategizing, a lot more grinding, everything. However, I don't think Kang Daniel is a case in which those concerns are too much 
Um, he seems to be an amazing individual, uh, and I'm sure he has some uh, very capable individuals behind him uh, who are gonna help this uh, uh, and make it happen. However, guys, one thing I know about Kang Daniel, which is really cool for me, is that he's a b-boy. And he's not just one of those b-boys that you see. Uh, sometimes you'll see a celebrity do it. You'll see it at every school dance. Uh, that random guy who comes in and does like a break dance move or two and then walks in. Um, in case you guys didn't know, I'm actually a b-boy as well. Um, and I saw Kang, Dan Kang Daniel b-boy and he's the real deal. He's the real deal. When a b-boy looks at another b-boy and you see the way they move, uh, you see their little subtle movements and everything, and you know whether he lived the life or not. And Kang Daniel's a real b-boy. He's, he's for real. Uh, I don't think there are many, if any, celebrities who are truly real b-boys. There's actually one, Jay Park. You know, he, he's a real b-boy as well. Uh, but I think those are two are the only real b-boys in the entertainment industry. So shout out. I saw your baby mills, Kang Daniel. Anyways, guys, that news is really cool. Um, like I said, I never followed him previously. Um, just recently, I ended up following him. I know he had the Insta Live where he announced you know, his plans in the future with his fans. So that's going to be cool. Um, as for his songs, um, I don't really know any. I heard, uh, I've heard Beautiful a lot at the cafe and coffee shops um, without even knowing that was a one on one song. But I'm excited to see where he goes. I think the sky's the limit for him. It's gonna be awesome. Anyways guys, tell me what you think. Do you think it was a good choice for him to go with a one man agency as opposed to a more robust established company? I wanna know what your thoughts. So with that, I hope you have a great day. And that was Illumi thus far. I will see you soon. Peace.